The reflections on this weekend, well, Kairos was, was born out of years of harvest and years of young people meeting God and this year we weren't going to have one and so we decided that we would birth something and we've done Kairos and we've touched, you know, God has touched many young people's lives and, and that is what the vision was for Kairos, to, to meet the needs of local young people to come together and that's what it's done. Uh, we've seen uh, young people have a, such an amazing time and all the activities and stuff. Um, we've seen relationships grow, uh, youth groups come closer together and we've also had the privilege of seeing God do so much in the lives of young people. Young people committing to follow Jesus for the first time. Young people say they're going to try and last the course and keep going till the end of their days. Um, and, uh, and young people being set free from all kinds of stuff. It's been absolutely brilliant. It has been amazing. We brought nine kids with us and there was three youth leaders and we're from three different churches in Hartlepool and they have just got together so well and mixed with everyone else so well and met with God so amazingly more than we could possibly have imagined. They, they came on Friday pretty shy and they're not leaving the same way. I think Kairos is brilliant. It's the first ever time I've been to something like this as a young person. They like harvest and stuff. Uh, got involved in the meetings and all the activities and I've, lo I've loved Kairos and I want it to continue. Yeah, it's been such a blessing to see God move and just know his faithfulness that even years after being part of this youth group and, and kind of going away like down to London and coming back up for this, like I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than this weekend, so it's been great. It's helped me come to terms with the guilt that I've had, um, personal issues and that, and it's, it's helped me get closer to God, you know, so it's, it, it's positive for everyone around. Um, last night we had uh, the worship event. Um, I got to pray with a few of the different kids in, in my group and got to hear a bit of what's going on in their hearts. And they, they really felt God's presence last night. It wasn't a, he might be there, he might not. It was a, okay, I can feel him right now. And that was incredibly exciting. Yeah. The event, the activities, they've all, they've all been excellent really. So, I've, yeah, I've just enjoyed it all. I've, I've also enjoyed getting like, close to God and enjoying the worship and the praying. And yeah, it's been really emotional and happy. This weekend, the kids have met with God in ways that they couldn't, they didn't expect. They came to have a good weekend with their friends and to, to worship together. But I think it more than it was more than that to them in the end. And it was, it couldn't have been possible if we hadn't had support from, from all the churches, from everyone who's come, from our leaders for helping with the organization, for the, the leaders who came with us, for their energy, and for the prayer that, for everyone who's been praying for us going away. One of my young kids told me that her parents had told her to pray when she was coming this weekend, and they never told her that before. So that was pretty, pretty incredible. I could not have imagined how many young people would have come to this event and we're not disappointed in numbers because when we've heard some of the stories, some of the broken, broken lives these young people have come from, we've seen people with cancer this weekend, people that lost parents just last weekend, we've seen people that um, have gone through marital breakups on this camp and, and uh, the children of that and and God has been able to minister to so many broken young people in this camp and, and that was the reason and the vision behind having something this year and we could not have foreseen the, the, the extent of those broken families and you know what, God's come and stood in the gap for each and every one of those young people. Um, I would love to see something like Kairos continue for this part of the world. I think it's so important that young people growing up have these moments, these Kairos moments. Have there, has there ever been a more aptly named Christian festival for these moments of mountaintop experience with Jesus uh, where they have the opportunity to make real life lasting decisions. And I remember for me, I was a teenager not that long ago, um, and the opportunity to come away and have those moments, which you don't forget, I still remember those moments as a young person, um, those decisions I made at camps like this. Um, and it's so important that we give young people this opportunity um, to come away out of their usual stressful, technologically filled lifestyle um, to come away and experience something of God um, in a field in the middle of nowhere. So some people are asking what is going to be next year and next year we are going to have Kairos 2014 
same venue, same bank holiday weekends in August and, and next year it's being adopted by Harvest so it's going to be Kairos 2014 brought to you by Harvest and we're still going to have the MBA support in that, we're still going to have the Rose Education Foundation and we're still going to have the YFC and the Methodist Circle and, and many other people involved in that. So we look forward to 2014, we're praying for it, we're working on it right now. So we'd love to see as many people um, join us and, and make 2014 a bigger and a better event. Well that was really exciting to hear what God has been doing amongst our young people as they've met for the Kairos weekend. People from all churches, Baptist and others, and God has been doing remarkable things there. We're grateful to Rachel and the team for all they've done, and I encourage you to pray for them as they prepare for next year, that we may see yet a greater move of God amongst our young people. Pray too for Rachel as she serves our churches in the Northern Baptist Association. Pray that she may have good openings, good opportunities to encourage and be a blessing to our churches, to help our youth leaders and to help our young people, that all may grow in the purposes of God, in the things that God has for them in this time.